going up. Ding. Oh, wait. This just goes to nowhere. Fucking weird elevator. All right, welcome back to XCOM. I am Mike Lott. And uh, I got shit to show off. Um, so I got yelled at by by comments because um, I I made a slight error. Basically, um, where is it? Covert operations. So you see this uh, attempt raid on on HQ Exalt HQ thing. Um, apparently, yeah. So they all say that. But this one, like Germany and China, for example, we know do not have Exalt uh, uh, bases. Basically, the Exalt are doing some sort of dick thing where, um, yeah, so it's, I don't know what the hell, yeah, so this is where my operative is. And so when it says attempt right in Exalt I HQ, I could be wrong on where it is since I don't really know where it is. So I actually have to narrow it down to where Exalt is and then go attack them. Um, so the fact that I was skipping a couple of Exalt missions probably didn't work in my best interest. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Some people do that anyways. It's not a big fucking deal. Who cares? But, uh, and that's also the, the, the cash sweeping mechanic here. So, um, I can also, like, detect them if I do, like, a little sweep on them. Um, but yeah, so I, I was basically wrong. And, uh, and yeah, sorry about that. Well, I, listen, I'm not that familiar with, uh enemy within like this is kind of half blind but yeah anyways we're gonna do send the extraction squad in I forgot what I did last time all right now I remember what I did um, okay so we have a uh, dick sledge uh, we can't call him sledge uh, it's gonna be herder <laughs> that's our wall though all right herder dick I don't know why... Oh, right, now I remember why 69th bullet is... Fucking hell, really? This is what I opted to bring bring along? Yeah, I really don't have anyone else. I really should bring someone better. Maybe a sniper. That sounds pretty good. Sorry, that other person, you're not coming along. Fuck off. I hate you and everything you stand for. Uh, so here we go, we got- I, I know I'm changing the fucking loadout, just like, so unprofessional, whatever, fuck off. Uh... I- I gave my, uh, heater to this guy, I think. Yeah, I did. You take a laser pistol, the sniper gets the heater. So the sniper has it for. Alright, well, cause this guy can move and shoot. This guy is one of the new, uh, strike rifles for the sniper rifle. Or, no he doesn't. What the fuck? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, the, the scope is just kind of blocked by the text. So we just made this guy, um, which is really nice. I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. So we're really, we're really now getting a taste of the, the play style for this. Um, and I, I think I, yeah, I gave it to my actual full scout, so which is interesting. But I figured it was the best idea. By the way, I did this like a couple days ago. I set this up and saved it, and now I'm loading it, and now I'm going, going like, oh, what, what was I thinking when I did all this? Uh, I apparently gave this person laser shadow ray. I'm gonna override that to this thing because I was a retard back then I don't know. Maybe I should have checked it before I started it, but well fuck you. Don't judge me XCOM ho let's go save our person from exalt now Remember Darrell can shoot twice exalt cell operating out of India once strike one is on the ground, we'll need to secure the area to allow our operative to acquire the necessary data. Alright, knowing now that, uh, well, we do this kind of from last time, but I know now that I can trigger the, the little sensor things and then make it so that, yeah, stuff. Exalt forces disrupted one of our operatives who was in the process of hacking an enemy comm relay in search of new intel. Strike One will need to move in and deal with any hostiles in the area so our operative can finish recovering the data from the remaining arrays. That operative is our only chance at the data. We can't afford to lose them. We have a new objective. Well, this is pretty good, I'd say. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we go to the towel right beside it so that, oh, actually, we can just go right now. Uh, well, it could be an error, I'm rolling. but you know what? We get our sprint too, so this is 
po quite possibly one of the easiest ones I've ever done. Piece of the intel. Our operative just has to activate that comm relay, Commander. Good. We've decrypted some of the Exalt data, and it looks like the communications were disrupted by our hack. We should keep looking for the remaining relays. Alright, we can we can actually do a really ballsy move here. I'm thinking here, like Ed, this is this is the choice right here. This allows them to flank me here, but I think this would be probably the, for the best. All right, we we don't actually see them, which is good. We can sprint during this turn, by the way. There's a there's actually not really much of a reason not to, uh, because we already kind of just triggered their reload. Wow, this guy has a lot of movement. Look at that. This sniper can like go up to here, but this guy, like he's got like a same kind of a deal. So the plan is to kind of keep him over there, and I'm just gonna get the person get the fuck out. Because Exalt scares me. Exalt does have grenades, I think. Um, so it could be a problem. So they're all going to have to reload, I think. Oh, no, no. They're not already on the map, so they don't have to reload. That's how that works. Alright. Uh, we, can, we can go just straight to this and get the fuck out. Relays in this area, Commander. The data is fully decrypted. We need to move the operative to the evac point for extraction. Objectives updated. All right. Wow, we can do a hundred percent chance to crit. Man, is that worth wasting now? I wish I could see how much health I was actually gonna damage I was gonna do. Yeah, just fuck this kid up. What are you doing out in the open, son? X-ray neutralized. All right, and then we're gonna move this guy back over Hi, here. Go on, go on. What the hell? Okay, so he has to reload though, so don't worry about it. Okay, we're gonna move the rocketeer over here. Yep, we got it. They're not attacking us at all. All right. No, no shots with him. Um, how far can I bring my friend here back? All the way generally to over there. Wow, I can't even get a shot off with this guy. Well, let's move him up actually to over here. All right, let's try this new laser strike rifle. I fucking, like, I got squad sight on him, so let's try it. Really? God damn it. That's not a good fucking start. Alright. Um, we're going to stay here with him. Probably should have saved that other shot there. But I think these guys have to reload as well. Alright, let's just, uh... Get ready for Overwatch, and we're gonna run him right here, which means during his next turn, he can just kind of go straight back. Any point of me uh, rocketing anybody? Nah. Just Overwatch. Oh, we can see them coming in. I think pretty much the next turn we're just gonna pull right out. This guy has a nice backpack. I think he's a medic. Uh, like, they have different types. You can see, yeah, this is a Rocketeer for Exalt. Uh, this is a medic, I think. And then there's like a, an infantry, which I think they carry around grenades or something. Ah, uh, they're surrounding us. Uh, we may not actually make it all the way back. Because uh, it just occurred to me that I moved from the, the default starting area. You missed. All right, let's see if we can actually make everyone go back. Fuck, the gunner is just one tile short. The gunner has to move during this turn. Solid copy, Commander. 
Uh, this would be my assault. Now I'm, now I'm kind of worried about the the perfect rocket. Hmm. Heading out. This might be bad. Well, let's let's see what we can do. Maybe I should move my sniper a bit further back. It's not a very sh good shot at close range with the strike rifle. Well, let's see. Who else do we got uh, with a shot open? Uh, my sniper's uh, here. Question is, I don't think I want my sniper to stay here. So I think my sniper might move back to... Um, not many places the sniper can go. I would like to kill him, though. Uh, I, guess, I suppose uh, both these guys can just pistol this guy. And then uh, heater if all else fails. I mean, they have a 60% chance to crit, and they neither of them crit. So... Oh, you got a 100% chance there. Might as well take it. Alright. That was where you pray to your maker. I mean, I don't think they've reloaded, actually, for that matter. The next move, we're out, so... Uh, the other problem might be rockets. Um, this is less than ideal. Nope, have to reload. Wow, ah, they're just coming out of the woodwork, aren't they? Yeah, they're just doing double moves and shit, so I think we're good. <laughs> I like how he just inched up there. You know, I had some discussions with people on why the AI is kind of retarded for Exalt. It's They try to do, I think, a different play style here. Like, you already have the alien aggressive AI. Um, and this one is more of like a um, a swarming AI, you know? and the intel are both secure. You can either have Strike 1 remain in the area to eliminate any other hostile units, or get them back to the evac zone. Objective updated. Hi. Let me move. Uh, 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 let's try. Let's try. Let's try to set up this laser thing once again. Man, I mean, he has a shot here, so might as well take it. All right, let's see if we can hit that. Just because it's our new, it's our new toy. Oh, you fucking suck! I'm gonna just, I'm gonna mount it to him, just basically being a piece of shit. Oh man, what shot should we take? Let's take this one. Oh fuck, you hit 18%, but my fucking scout can't do his shit. God damn it. Whatever, XCOM, I'm leaving. Alright. And we're gonna extract the units. That's it. Uh, nice and easy mission. Uh, so I'll just, I'll actually just continue here, uh, since it was really, really short. Although, every time I do that, we get like 30 minute episodes, and so you're probably looking at the video bar right now and like, Oh shit, Mike did a really tough mission right after this one. Oh, what, wounded? Really? Who, got, who the fuck got wounded? Oh, because I brought them out of fatigue, that's why. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so, with our new assault here, um, Wolf Guy, we're gonna make you close combat specialist friend. And we got some exalt intelligence. Complete. Eliminating statistical improbabilities for possible exalt location. So, it's another one down. Another one bites the dust. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Uh, so now we got alien mil- uh, oh, let's see. Oh, we got money. We got fucking tons of money. Um, okay. Uh, enhanced lasers. Not gonna bother with any of that. Um, how many armors am I making, though, right now? That's the first question we have. Uh, let's see. Phalanx armor, two carapace armor. Okay. Uh, let's also go check out to see if we can build a facility, because the- Investing in early on for this stuff is also a good idea. Uh, I can make a genetics lab eventually, but we're not gonna do. We should do that soon because it does count towards lab bonuses. Even though, to be honest, I really don't want to do genetics yet because it's just I need the meld right now. So, all right, 
Carapace armor two. See, here's here's my thing. So with this armor, it's plus three mobility, plus five defense, plus two HP. And I decided to build one of those Phalanx armors, which is plus two mobility and plus three HP. So I don't know. Maybe I should have bought more of the Kestrel. I'm gonna buy one of these Kestrel armors. I think. Do I want to though? Or no, I want to buy actually two two more of these. I need I need the full armor, guys. So that's more important to me. If we build quickly, it'll cost twice as much. All right. And now we now, now that we have like a bunch of useless money. Um, I was actually one of the things I was hoping to do that I think would really help with some of these missions. Like the armor would be obviously one of them. But um, I haven't done tactical officers yet. Um, that would honestly probably save my save my bacon a lot. Uh, so I'm thinking of actually just selling off some corpses and doing that and then we just need three more dollars Sectoid. All right, we will do this All right, we got it. So now we have some medals to give out um, Or maybe we don't Oh, Okay, now we do so we got three lieutenants open um, so who's gonna be the lieutenants? I think my snipers will always be lieutenants, although they're all fucking wounded or dead. So that's that's not good. We have three snipers and they're all just out of commission right now. Um, which isn't the best, because I kind of need snipers. But that's why I want to be the lieutenants, because there's no way, like, they will not- They are the least likely to die, basically. So keeping the bonuses on them would be the best. And we have a scout UFO at the ready here. Um, Paco is still arming with his laser cannon, so we're gonna have to bring out some of the other guys here. The laser cannon is useful, but um, yeah, we, ha we have to be kind of careful. I don't know what kind of weapons they have. The tech could be better now. Closing on target. Yeah, that's not too difficult. Oh, oh I almost lost that that guy. All right, take him down. He's almost dead. We have eyes on the bandit. Gotta be a little bit careful, more careful. Strike range. Come on, one more hit. There we go. Uh, Interceptor took no damage, no survivors, and minimal salv salvage of materials. All right, so we got we got a money bonus from that one. Uh, Contact detected. Another scout. Oh, go ahead. I got two. I got two fighters. I think. I think we're good. Bangs out. And then we're gonna stop uh, sending out things. If we lose one more, one more ship here, then do want to do at least one hit. I I don't think I really should send anything after that anymore. Debating it. No. Ah, fuck it. We'll do it. Yellow. What the fuck? <laughs> Why did I see smoke there? Was that was that you six pack? Come on. Has to be three hits then. One more hit. Come on, come on. One more hit. One more hit. Oh, damn it. All right, well, nothing else. We almost had it. All right, we got one alloy rebate from that uh, weapon there. And metallurgy there. I can't pronounce that at all. Meta, meta something allergy. Uh, but we're good for that now. We have three alloys now, actually. But we're gonna get a bunch of uh, alloys back. You see, we get some back uh, as a refund. Oh, we got a transport ship. Well, nothing I can do about that. Shit! God damn it. All right, never mind. I'm not gonna do another fucking. I want to go to invade this one. Um, no, I don't think we can actually. We got Vanuki, Libby, Strobe. We don't even have our snipers up. We have one day on that sniper. I would be sending basically a suicide squad. Yeah, we got too many high level, high level important people. We only have like corporals, and corporals, what, what level are they? Well, the corporals aren't the worst. Um, we got their wall. All right. If the sniper comes back into play, then we'll go. But this is fucking this could be bad, man. 
I I don't know. I don't know, man. I I'm, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, these are all lieutenant corporals. Can the sniper and the gunner carry the entire fucking thing? And maybe maybe uh, rip. I don't think so. I think I should really. I'm gonna skip this one. I'm sorry. I had my best and brightest, and we barely got out of there. We even lost people, so we're gonna let it go. Oh, we got new combat systems. Um, so let's see some of the new items that we have. Um, here we go. We got Reaper Rounds, which are specialized ballistics and adds a 20% critical chance against organics targets, but we double the range penalty on our weapons, so they have to go really close, and it's only Goss and conventional weapons. Um, we'll probably be going up to Goss tech soon. Uh, nullifies extra damage reduction for sh shotgun weapons, including sawed-off shotgun. Don't know what those uh, things are, but I think this is a good thing to have for my assault. Um, it only costs like three alloys, so that's not bad. Uh, we have the smart gun kit. This one's interesting. Confers advanced fire control perk, removing aim penalty for overwatch fire for the gunner. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make one of those. Remember, I'm making an overwatch gunner, and this is one of the things I looked at. I'm like, oh, that's really good. Um, and then we also have an, we have uh, an alloy bipo uh, bipod, which is a really really nice thing. It's um, uh, we get 10, plus ten aim, plus ten critical chance if we do not do any costly actions with gunners, which means if you don't if you if you stay in the same place and shoot. Then you get that bonus. Oh wait, it's a gunner. Like we get that all the time. So yeah, it's, make, well, it's basically like a scope for the gunner. It's amazing. Um, we'll make the, the this thing here, and I think I want to make the oh there's um some shredder ammo. Uh, we get take extra damage from additional hits. Oh, who's this on? Assault only. So my assault would have to take it. I would like to I would like to try. Is it the Reaper rounds? No. What's the one where? Yeah, increase damage against armored targets. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh, we have enough money and we have enough alloys, just barely though. So that should be nice. All right, Sergeant Rip returned from duty. Yeah, so we, our sniper didn't even come back. One engineer is for eight weapon fragments. This may be. How many engineers do we have? How many do we need for the next workshop? Well, you know, every bit helps, I suppose. We'll go do that one. Some of them are not worth it. Some of them are artifact sales. Two scientists for twelve corpses. Yeah, I remember. I remember some of these. Uh, two scient. Well, Illyrium. I don't know. I, I had this before. Yeah, sure, we'll do it. We're not using that much Illyrium, and we're gonna do the engineer one. And, what, and these people just want satellites. Wow, new. Do recruit scout, sniper, corporal, and engineers too. For UFO flight computer, Jesus Christ. Wow, they were getting rid of those. And some meld for engineers. Eh, would have been nice. Maybe we'll get meld in the next mission. And UFO analysis, which means, uh, I guess it's a good thing we didn't go after that ship, because now every time we take it out, uh, like we'll, we'll be able to take it down much more effectively. All right, so what do we want now? Uh, we can start with some autopsies. Or we can do this for the arc thrower, and I think where I said I was going to go towards that. To support the research team, Commander. I've already. Yeah, we already know what she says. Additional workshop online. All right, so now everything else will be cheaper. Two engineers for twelve lirum. Yes. Uh, oh, we got eleven alloys back from this carapace armor. Nice. Uh, okay, United Kingdom is being a fucking dick. Uh, covert up. Well, actually, don't we already know it's not there? No, we don't. Okay, covert up. Uh, who are we gonna send? Who will be the brave soul? I think maybe the assault, an assault again. You know, this is a really good mission for for like a really shitty assault. You know, maybe not wolf guy. Maybe maybe actually yes, wolf guy. So let's bring him along. I mean, he's got the close combat specialist with the him. The engineering team is doing some tests right now that could be disruptive. I'm going to alert the staff as a precaution. I, I think I sent this guy out before, so I guess he's just going to get all the fucking uh, level ups from this. And once again, yes to alloy plating. I don't think there's anything else really that he's going to bring along. Yeah, let's bring a scope with him. And one HQ grenade, just in case. I mean, there's nothing else really here that I would rather give to him. So, uh... 
Good luck, Wolf Guy. Deployed against exalt position in the United Kingdom. I love the United Kingdom. And they oh, fucking hell, look at my money now. Christ. Oh, good thing I spent a lot of it. Let's hope there's nothing else we want to get. Oh look, okay, that works. Oh, I got most of that money back. And there we go, we got our bipod. And we got our breaching ammo. Uh they want some weapon fragments for engineers. One engineers. How the close am I? Arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. I guess we can take it. I mean, I'm not using that much weapon fragments, and as far as I know, they're not used in construction at all. They're just used for research projects. It, it pains me, and I'm probably going to regret it, but alloys is really the, the part that's the biggest problem. So, we'll do it. Especially since, like, if I'm not doing a downed UFO, then it's not a problem. Alright, we got Arc Thrower and Arc Rifle are available for manufacturing. Interesting. Alright. Arc Rifle can do low damage and disable alien weaponry, allowing our soldiers to assist in alien capture captures. That's an interesting thing. I might put that on, like, a medic or something. You d you're you basically disabling one, like, high-priority enemy. Okay, well, we have advanced aerospace concepts. Uh, this would help us shoot down UFOs. Uh, that's not a bad one. Uh, Illyrium could help us with our power. Or we're gonna need autopsies. Uh, apparently we need like a lot more melt for that. Alloys for this, so. Hmm. Actually, let's do Thin Man autopsy. The Torp one has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the Thin Man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, we seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which appear to be reptilian in nature. Alright, we're doing Thin Man autopsies just because I, um, there's some bonuses we do get. Um, there's some bonus research for med kits and stuff that I think we can, we can, will get, so. Let's go. Keep spinning globe. Eleven, uh, alloys back from that one. And we got a, our smart kit now. And I want laser rifles. Never. Might be doing another covert op, like, right away. Incoming transmission. Excellent work, Commander. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. We hope that your current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. All right. Remember, we will be watching. Now we got a fuck ton of money. Or no, we didn't. We only got two hundred dollars. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Thought I got like seven hundred bucks, but apparently not. Gross monthly income. Look at that. But, oh yeah, it's something that gets taken away from all the maintenance. Jeez. Alright. Well, another laboratory. And workshop is definitely going to come next. I think we're, yeah, we're at, we're at uh, 38 now, so. That's going to come very soon. Um, I was planning... I do not always oh. agree with Dr. Shen. He has a point in this case. Now that we have the potential to capture an alien subject alive, we do need to construct a containment facility before we attempt to bring one in. Ah, uh, fine, let's do it. I have to sell a lot of shit, though. I mean, I got a ton of Thin, ma thin Man corpses. I don't really want to sell all these, but... Because they might the council might ask for them. I don't know, next mission. How's that sound? So we have a, a, a covert operative that we want to get. Uh, probably after this mission, we'll be able to afford Excellent. it. We look forward to seeing your progress. Well, I spent so much fucking time in base management that I'm actually not going to do another mission here. So I guess that's it. So remember, we will be watching. <laughs>